On this episode of China Uncensored, you never call, you never write. I'm suing. Hi, welcome to China Uncensored. I'm your filial son, Chris Chappell. If you want to do business in China, I highly recommend investing in alcohol because liquor sales are about to skyrocket. According to the newly revised Law on Protection of the Rights and Interests of the Aged, Chinese parents can now sue their grown children for not visiting enough. In other news, China has seen a mass influx of Jewish mothers. The law has already been enforced. Just hours after the revisions were implemented, a court in Wuxi City, that's in Jiangsu Province, sentenced a woman and her husband to visit her mother at least once every two months, and at least during two public holidays. If they don't, they face fines or detention. Imagine, in China, your mother-in-law can sue you if you don't go see her. That's the real danger of dating a Chinese girl. So, the new law doesn't really specify how frequent frequent visits are supposed to be, and how it will be enforced is also kind of vague. The whole reason this one couple was punished was because the daughter had a falling out with her mother. But many Chinese lawyers are saying the law isn't really going to be enforced. It's more about letting people know they should visit home more often. Of course, that's how law works, right? Laws are just suggestions to be arbitrarily enforced on the whims of those in power. That's how the rule of law works, right? Now, China's population is rapidly aging as a result of the one-child policy. China's National Committee on Aging estimates that by this year, more than 200 million people will be over the age of 60, and by 2050, that number will reach almost 500 million, which is about a third of the population. So in the late 1970s, when the Communist Party started the one-child policy, people were concerned about just this. Since ancient times in China, filial piety, a Confucian principle, created a social order whereby children would take care of the elderly. In essence, it worked like a kind of system of welfare. But if everyone was allowed only one child, could that system really work? Totally! Because the party would take care of people when they got older. Of course, now that that generation has become senior citizens, they've kind of doubled back on that one. So why are there so many bad sons and daughters in China? Well, it's because there's not really an option. China is in a massive push towards urbanization. The government wants 70% of the population in cities by 2025. That's about 900 million people. Currently, about half that number lives in cities. So many leave their parents behind in the rural areas to find opportunity in cities, but even with a good degree, there's so much competition, it's incredibly hard to find a good job, and even with a good job, it's incredibly hard to find housing. Along with China's restrictive household registration system, it's almost impossible to bring your parents along to live with you in the city. And that means you need to take time off to see your parents. The law revision says that employers need to give 20 days of paid home leave to employees whose parents live far away, but critics are already questioning whether employers would do that at all. I don't think most are keen on giving time off, especially because with all the flood of workers, they don't really have to. Then that leaves national holidays. And this is why during the Chinese New Year's, the one time of year that everyone can actually get back home, travel looks like this. I will never complain about New York subways during rush hour again. Why the big push for urbanization? Well, as Li Xiangyang said, he's the vice director of the Institute of World Economics and Politics, or the IWEP, if half of China's population starts consuming, growth is inevitable. Right now, they're living in rural areas where they do not consume. That's so funny, because you see, the IWEP came from something that Mao Zedong established in 1964. That's when people weren't allowed to own anything and were being forced to live in collectives. And now, the Communist Party is tearing down farming villages to build megacities for mass consumption. Kind of like how they promised to take care of the elderly. Well, so what do you guys think of the new law? Comment below or follow China Uncensored on Facebook and Twitter and... Actually, no, never mind. Go call your mother. It's probably been too long.